Hey, what's up, everyone? X One X One X back again here for another quick video. This mod is going to be for the Xbox 360 Slim model. As you can see, this is the matte finish one. It's not the glossy one. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, basically, this mod is going to be for um, you know the Slim. Uh, it can be for the uh, the glossy model, the 250 gigabyte one. Um, but not really. I don't think it's that necessary if, uh, unless it is to you if uh, you can't recover some certain accounts that were like 10,000 per siege or something insane like that um, on your old hard drive, you know, from, you know, this, the old uh, model OG Xbox 360. So let's say you have one of these. It red, uh, red rings. It's, you can't repair it or whatever, or no one can repair it or whatever. Um, or let's say someone flashed it and failed and it just pretty much broke the system. So let's say this system was worthless. <clears throat> and you've had it for, what, like two years or something? And then, um, you're like, crap, I just bought this. You know, you, you can't basically, oh, I zoomed in. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you just bought a new, or you're planning on getting one of these, an Xbox Series Slim model. Um, this is something else you can pretty much do. Um, so yeah, let's see, oh, I have a lot of accounts that I don't remember the passwords or email and st uh, stuff like that, you just can't remember whatever, or just have like game saves that you got super far and like Fallout, Fallout 3 or something, but whatever, um, so you have your 120 gigabyte hard drive or whatever you have, it can be 20, 60, 120, um, I'm not sure if they made a, t a 320 one of these, but uh, they'll still work no matter what, um, but basically, all you have to do is uh, take it apart. There's four screws right there. So, uh, yeah, after you take it apart, this is basically what's inside. Uh, there's going to be a hard drive right here, and uh, connected to this, it's a SATA cable to Xbox 360 converter. It's pretty much converter, so uh, that's basically that's all that's going to be there. So, um, you know, disconnect uh, the hard drive that's in here and afterwards all you have to do once you get uh, or if you already have it already all you have to do is uh, turn it upside down open the enclosure for uh, the hard drive um, or your you know pretty much the hard drive uh, space or whatever <laughs> and um, yeah this is my hard drive right here uh, this is a hundred and twenty gigabyte one and this was extracted from, uh, yeah, you can hear beater, beater music in the background, that's counting for you. Um, from this enclosure, the 120 gigabyte model. And, uh, yeah, that's basically all you have to do. What I highly recommend, extremely recommend, uh, is get a enclosure like this. All you have to do is screw it together with some small screws, uh, to the hard drive, and you're good to go. Make sure it has, like, one of these tabs, or you can make your own. And uh, yeah, being a music is kind of annoying. Um, and that's basically it. All you have to do now is just put it in uh, your, your Xbox 360 Slim. Make sure it's in. This one's not in. It is now. Just make sure it's a snug fit. Like I said, make sure it has like a tab or something. So you can kind of tug a little bit. If it's like free, you'll, you'll be able to tell. And uh, basically that's it. Put on uh, the cover once again. Turn it up once again. Um, and yeah, plug it in, stuff, I can probably do this without turning the console. And yes, uh, this is actually one of the old power bricks, it's slow at, uh, uh zooming in, to, um, the new Slim, I highly recommend getting one of those too, uh, just in case yours fails, come on, stupid piece of crap, sorry for cruising, just... Oh, no wonder I had it upside down. Yeah, this kind of sucks. <laughs> Can't really see anything. There we go. And I actually forgot um, my controller, so I'm a have, I'm pretty much have, having to use one of these, the Rock Band guitar <laughs> controller. So yeah, let's go ahead and turn on my Xbox. It turned on.
Wow, that's super slow. Not the, not the TV or nothing. Uh, the zooming in and stuff. See? Kind of slow. Alright, well. Um, they did not make 120 gigabyte hard drives um, for the Xbox 360 Slim. So this is 100% legit proof that this works. As you can see there, it says 36.5 gigabyte 3. That's because I use it, obviously. I'm not sure if I even showed this in the beginning, but I probably have. Um, don't remember I've done this video so many times. But uh, yeah, basically that's it. 120 gigabyte hard drive on the Xbox 360 Slim. Um, straight from, you know, original hardware from the old OG Xbox. So that's basically what I have to do. Uh, pretty simple mod. Uh, just try to get your enclosure for the hard drive, um, or you just like do something cheap and just use like paper or something to um, hold the hard drive below it. Or yeah, so um, we can have some leverage, I guess. But basically, that's it. Um, pretty awesome and stuff. As you can see, it says Microsoft. It's 100% legit. Um, you know, not a mod and like some something like that or nothing like that. Um, you can't go ahead and you just can't go to like a computer store or anything and buy a SATA hard drive. It just won't work. Uh, I guess Microsoft encrypted the hard drive uh, to only work with the 360. Well, it'll probably work on computers too, but still, uh, you just can't, you know, just go buy a hard drive and use it for your Xbox. So that's basically the mod. Um, hopefully, this was detailed enough for you guys. So um, this is only necessary if you guys want to recover certain information, uh, like accounts, like. Like I said, Call of Duty Prestige accounts or whatever. Um, pretty much anything. Game saves. Um, let's see what else. Or you just you know you just can't afford uh, extra storage space. You just can't like let's say you can't afford the 250 gigabyte hard drive uh, for the, the slim. You know up front you can just pretty much if you already had this on hand or you can buy one cheap for like 20 bucks. Then I highly recommend doing this because this will save you um, money. So. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys later. If you guys have any information or uh, not information, any questions, go ahead and ask below in the comment section. So, thanks for watching.